So let's just see how we can perform the insert sun in red black tree. So we're gonna insert these elements. So first of all, we need to know the most important properties of the red black tree. So the key properties of a red black tree is that here the root node will always be black and also no two adjacent red nodes. That means two red nodes cannot be directly connected. So let's just see how we can insert these elements using this insertion process. So the first step is that new nodes will always be inserted with the red color. So first of all we have to insert 30. So 30 will be red because 30 is the root node. So we have to recolor this to black. So 30 will be in black color. So next we have to insert 40. So 40 will be inserted here and it will have the color red because this is the newly inserted node. Next we have 50 so 50 will be inserted here and it will also have the color red. Now the problem here is that two red nodes cannot be directly connected. So here we have the red red conflict. Now to handle the conflict we have two cases. We have the case 1 and case 2. So in case 1 if the uncle is black or null. So this is our node that we wanted to insert. Now this is the parent of this node and this is the grandparent of this node. Now here you can see there is no uncle. So when the uncle is null or black in both of the cases we have to perform the rotation similar to the AVL tree. So here we can perform LL, RR, LR and RL rotation. So here we have the R, R rotation. So we have to perform one left rotation. So that means 30 will be dragged down 40 will be the root node and 50 will stay as it is and then we have to recolor the nodes involved in the rotation. So because we have rotated 40 and 30 so we have to recolor them. So 40 it was red so it will be recolored to black and 30 will be recolored to red. And now you can see there are no adjacent red nodes so everything is fine. So next we have to insert 60. So 60 will be inserted here with the color red because this is the new node. Now again here we have the red red conflict. So to handle the conflict we can have two cases. Now here you can see because this node has the uncle which is red. So that means now we have the case 2. So when we have case 2 then we have to recolor the parent and uncle to black. So this is the parent so we have to recolor this to black and also we have to recolor the uncle so the 30 will be black and then we have to recolor the grandparent to red so that means we have to recolor this grandparent 40 now because this is one root node so this cannot be red so so it will stay as it is as the black node now this process can repeat upwards so again if we found some conflicting red nodes in that case also we are going to repeat the same process upwards if needed. For this time everything is fine. So next we have to insert 20. So 20 will be inserted right here. So here we do not have any conflict so everything is fine. So next we have to insert 10. So 10 will be inserted right here with the color red. Now you can see here again we have the red red conflict. So in this case this is the parent this is the grandparent and here we do not have any uncle. So because there is no uncle so this is the case 1. So that means we have to perform the rotation. So here we have the left left rotation. So we have to perform one single right rotation. So that means 30 will be dragged down. 20 will go up and 10 will stay as it is. So because we have rotated 20 and 30 so we have to recolor those nodes they are involved in rotation. So that means 20 will be converted to black and 30 will be recolored so 30 will be red. So now we do not have any red red conflict so next we have to insert 70. So 70 will be inserted right here. And again here we have the red red conflict and this time you can see 
this is the parent this is the grandparent and here we do not have any uncle so because we do not have any uncle so this is the case one so that means you have to perform the rotation so here we have the right right rotation so we have to perform one single left rotation so that means 50 will be dragged down 60 will be the root node and 70 will stay as it is so because we have rotated 60 so it will be recolored so 60 will be black and we have rotated 50 so 50 will be recolored so 50 will be red and now we do not have any conflict so everything is fine next we have to insert 80 so 80 will be inserted right here and again here we have the red red conflict and this time we have this red uncle so so that means that is the case too so that means we have to recolor the parent and uncle to black so this parent will be recolored so 70 will be black and this uncle 50 will be black and then the grandparent will be red so this is the grandparent so 60 will be red and after that you can see because we do not have any conflict so we do not have to repeat this process upward because there is no need next we have to insert 90 so 90 will be inserted right here and again we have the red red conflict and this time you can see we do not have any uncle so that means that is the case one so that means we have to perform the rotation so because here we have the right right rotation so we have to perform one single left rotation so that means 70 will be dragged down 80 will be the root node and 90 will stay as it is so because we have rotated 80 and 70 so their color will be flipped so 80 will now be black and 70 will be red so now we do not have any conflict so everything is fine so next we have to insert 100 so 100 will be inserted right here and again here you can see we have the red red conflict and this time we have this red uncle so this is the case 2 so that means you have to recolor the parent and uncle to black so the parent 90 will be black and the uncle 70 will be black and the grandparent will be red so this grandparent 80 this will be red so now you can see again here we have the red red conflict so because again we have the conflict so we have to repeat the same process upward so this time we have this red red conflict so in this case this is the parent this is the grandparent and this is the uncle so because we have the black uncle so that is the case one so we have to perform the rotation so here we have the right right rotation so we have to perform one left rotation so that means 40 along with this left subtree will be dragged down and this 60 will be the root node and this 50 will go here so this will be the right child of 40 and this right subtree will stay as it is so because we have rotated 60 and 40 so their color will be changed so 60 will become black and 40 will be recolored so 40 will be red so we have inserted all of these elements in our red black tree and you can see we do not have any red red conflict and also here we have the red black property so if we start from any node and if we reach to the leaf node so no matter what path we take we have the same count of black nodes so if we start from here we have the count 1 2 if we take that path we have the count 1 2 here we have 1 and 2 1 and 2 and this is also 1 and 2 so no matter what path we take we have the same count of black nodes so this is the way we can insert all of these numbers using the insertion process and we can handle the red red conflict so hope you understand about the red black tree insertion see you in the next one take care